In a previous video, I showed you how to take an insulated frog and turn it into a powered frog. Now we're going to hook it up to a tortoise switch machine. So let's get going with this right now. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicek, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. We're going to take a look at the tortoise switch machine and this end card right here. It has eight terminals on it. And in that eight terminals, you have power going to the motor itself on the end ones. There are two single pole double throw switches on the inside of these three terminals on each. We're going to use three of the terminals on there to power the frog from the two rails. And I'll show you a picture of it right here. Here's the wiring diagram for the tortoise switch machine. And you'll notice two, three, and four is a single pole double throw switch. We're going to hook up our frog to terminal number four, and we're going to hook up one of the the, each rail to terminal number two and number three on here. Terminals number one and eight are for the motor, as you can see on here. And we have an extra set of terminals on here that we can use for something else. We're not going to be using it in this demonstration, but we could use it for any number of things in the future. This drawing shows the auxiliary contacts used for a turnout and also a signal. Without using the single pull double throw contacts on the tortoise switch machine, you could use the terminals one and eight to hook up your LEDs for your panel lights to indicate the direction that the turnout is thrown. In the first video on this series, I showed you how to solder this wire on here for the frog. On this one, we're going to add a wire to this little jumper right here and this little jumper right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us the power from each one of the rails. So we can hook it up to the terminals through the single pole double throw switch on the tortoise switch machine. So we can route power to the frog in the appropriate manner. Not all turnouts are like the Shinohara or Walters like I just showed you that has the jumpers on the bottom where you could solder wires onto it. You're going to have to take your feeder wires to get your rail power for your frog and I'll show you how to do that later. Instead of using the edge connector like this, I soldered the wires directly onto the terminals on the card and I used the Cat5 cable now, I determined my color code here a couple of years ago from a video that I did when I was testing out the Cat5 cable. And you can see that I put it on a terminal strip. And I used the same arrangement of the colors on the terminal strips that I did on the edge connector. The black wire is on terminal one, and we're going to three and four, and we're going to be using those three terminals right there, two, three, and four. And on my turnout, you could see that I added two more wires on there. Now, this is the wire that I put on here in the previous video for the frog. Now, there's two jumpers on here that routes the, the power from the rail to the switch rail going to the frog. And there's an insulator up here and there's also jumpers over here. So what I did was I took the two wires here corresponding to pins number two and three. Before I soldered the wires on here, I made sure that they are in their correct position so I could keep the same wire colors from the terminal here to the terminals on here. You can also put wires on here that are the same color. Say you could put two black wires on here, two green wires or two white wires on here. And then once you have everything all hooked up, have them connected on your terminals here you could determine which direction that your turnout is in 
And if it's backwards, you can always flop the wires in the opposite direction to get the right polarity on your frog whenever you turn your tortoise switch machine. What makes the Walters or Shinohara turnouts unique is this little jumper here that routes power from your main track over to your switch track. It does it for each side and it does it up here also beyond the frog. So even if you don't have your points touching down here, these two tracks are both energized the same and these two tracks are energized the same at all times. I marked the roadbed and then drilled holes in the roadbed where the wires were located on the turnout. You can feed the wires down through the holes that you drilled in the roadbed, like so. Pull them down through. Get them close. Now I have the switch machine right here with the wire sticking up right there. So what we're going to do is try to get that in the hole first. Okay, once we have that in the hole, then we could maneuver this back so we can get the rail joiners on. Now I just have track nails on the edges right here until I get this permanently down. We'll pull the wires down through here to get it nice and snug. And then once we have everything the way that we want it, then we could permanently attach the turnout on here with the rest of the track. But for right now, I'm just keeping it loose. And I have this, and I'm gonna mount this on the bottom. I mounted my terminal strip underneath the layout with number four by three quarter inch pan head screws. I ran the wiring through some heat shrink tubing, then through an eyelet, and then down to the terminal strip. Once I make sure everything is working correctly, I'll take the black and the white wire and run it back behind the L girder into the terminal board that I have for this DS64 right here, where I'll be controlling the turnout. Now it's time to check out the continuity of it. So we're going to take the this rail right here, and we have it going on the converging track. And so we'll check the frog right there, and we have continuity. Make sure that it's not backwards. Okay, we'll flip the tortoise the other way. And we should have continuity going all the way up through there. So we have continuity on the turnout, on the frog, all the way up. So we're good to go with that. Now we'll check this with actual track power. You see we have track power right here. Have it right here. And we're going up the straight rail. We'll check it right here. And we have it right there on the frog and nothing going that way. We'll flip it the other way around. Now we're going to the converging rail. We have power there. We have power there. Power there. No power here. So we're good to go with that now. Let's try our switcher on here now.
All right, we're good to go. In the next video, we're going to take the Caboose Industries 220S ground throw that has the three contacts on it so we could route the power to the frog. So until the next time, we'll see you.